Off we go. Into the throne room. Wow, this looks lame. In comparison to the gold silver throne room, it's pretty lame Hall of Fame. Indeed, we'll be on it. Recorded in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. We are Hall of Famers. Yes. I lead with the uh, ever awesome from Turkey and go to my special wall flubber. I decide to bring Nutcase to set up my stealth rock, um, but I'm going to go for a rapid spin now. This was quite risky. I hoped and prayed that I would live to the late because um, once I rapid spin, then I'm able to get rid of his stealth rock, and that is a huge, huge advantage for me now. Okay, I rapid spin so I can get a free switch in to boost bug. Now, as those on old Urn Emble know, boost bug was like my absolute god. It was like the definition of me on old Urn Emble. I know he's going to switch to Heatran, so I go for a substitute, and this is where I start to set up and uh, yeah, try and get some uh, stuff going. Uh, and I have Clampo, and Clampo, let me tell you, in Trick Room, with Rain, Rex, Face, like, actually. So, gonna die to a flamethrower, but I do have a Revenge Killer, which is the most epically awesome source Pokemon in the world, by Thing with a Beard. And the Thing with a Beard has Sucker Punch, and is amazing, because he has Chlorophyll as well, so... Freaking love and shiftry in the sun. And um, he's gonna superpower me. And that's fucking awesome. Because this is what happens when this Agron gets to be good. He lives on sturdy, goes for the metal burst. And, and, and here it comes. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god, I left the outrage! Holy shit! Holy shit! Matai, you motherfucking legend! <laughs> That's amazing! That is, that is fucking amazing! It's not really a team, it's basically five offensive dudes and a Gigalith. I'm a fucking man, and that's a fucking fact, so you shut the fuck up and prepare for IMPACT! And uh, this Mr. Mind, by the way, is um, one of the first guys I ever EV'd, um, so thus it's pretty crap why it's called I Suck and stuff. Um, as it has 252 defense, 252 speed, which is just long. So I bring in Ten Bucket, the shiny Wolverine, which is just awesomeness. Stalrian for the win, I mean, it's so good. And I expect to die from that close combat, but I live with 16 HP, and that, that's just, that's sweet, that's awesome. So um, I'm gonna bring in Sophos. As you can see, he takes nothing, nothing from the freaking Ice Beam. But my friends, if I ever wanted to prove the stoutness of Mantla, not only does he avoid three sleep powders, get a paralysis fully on the Venomoth, he finishes it off with a critical hit thunderbolt just to rub it in. So, la 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 la, I stay in with uh, Tantar's Leap because I think he's going to spawn, but I'm not really quite sure, so uh, he spores and protect, that's pretty epic, I lay him spore me because I like to lose his sleep. Nasty plots up, I predict the first turn wake, go for Willow Wisp, take out the freaking Smeagol. But um, in comes Smidgeot, and uh, he has a Braviary, and I'm like, you know what? I know you're gonna Brave Bird me. I know it, and I, I can't do anything about it, but what I can do, what I can do is I can live it. And after living, I can go for that Stab Hyper Beam, hit it in with all that power, and take out the Braviary, which is exactly what I do. But, you know, this is, you know, this is something that was foretold to happen in the history of time because everyone knows Admiral Cunt, you don't fuck with Admiral Cunt, she is like, she is the head honcho at the helm of the ships, all the ships, every ship in the ocean. Uh, and that's really going to be of no consequence, um, I'm not sure who's going to try and pass it to, but I'm going to go for the cross jump and that's going to take out the Umbreon completely, completely annihilate it. Um, I decide to go to the fastest thing I've got because that's generally a good thing to do. He goes to Rachi and I get an awesome switch advantage, which just, that was epic as hell. Um, earthquake on the Jirachi and Doug is going to own it. So down goes Rachi and that's pretty sweet for me. Um, so I decide to switch out. I go to Mrs. T, the boa, who is just completely freaking awesome. And it just rapes Crest, Scar, Bliss completely up the ass. So, it's an amazing thing. So I switch out to Nubs, uh, and he subs up, and this is brilliant, um, because I know he's a sub punching Dustoir, and uh, I know, I've done this before, if you encore on Focus Punch, it makes the new sub again, and that, that's just awesome. That, that, was one of, that's, that was a great, great key play there. Um, and 
now he can't do anything, he just has to keep subbing up. So uh, I just go for knockoff to knock off whatever he switches out to because he can't do anything, he's, he's got to just keep doing substitute. He does EQ and it doesn't do all that much. Um, and I wake up on the, the right turn and I toxic him. Um, now I'm thinking what to do and he rocks lights me for super effective damage and I live with 5 HP. And man, man that was awesome. That, the chuckle's just so good. It's, it's unbelievable, it's, it's really good.